next video is here on number two for the intro to uh, polar rectangular conversions. So um, this one here, again, I already plotted the points. If you have any questions on plotting the points, there's a video on how to plot coordinates in polar uh, form. So once we plot all of those points, what you also notice, um, similar to question one, uh, where we get, uh, you know, theta is always 5 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. So you could, um, just like an xy graph, you say, oh, well, all my y values are the same. My equation, therefore, is y equals whatever that number is. Um, just like that here, we see all of our r values repeating. Um, now, they they repeat in a way different from rectangular because... Um, all my thetas are very different, um, but what happened was all my points ended up being a circle centered around zero. Um, so I have oops, yeah, circle um, centered at zero, zero, radius is six. Um, in polar form, just a, a plain circle centered at zero has the equation R equals whatever the radius is, so r equals 6. Uh, for rectangular, what we have for rectangular, um, if we think back just one unit, uh, what we had was the standard form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So if we plug in everything we know, we should be able to get the rectangular form as well. So hk is our center, so that's 0, 0. So x minus 0 is the same as just x squared. Plus, and then same thing, uh, y minus 0 squared, so y squared. And then that is set equal to our radius squared. Our radius is 6, so we square that, we get 36. So if we come back up here to the rectangular, we say x squared plus y squared is 36. And there you have it. Um, any questions, you can come see me. That one's fairly straightforward. Um, we're going to move on to the next one. Next one is also a circle. In fact, um, I will try my best to sketch this circle. Uh, close enough. So uh, when we first introduced polar graphing and polar equations, we learned that, um, you know, let, let's say we had, um, I, I believe we actually, all we did was we graphed r equals um, cosine theta. And then we graphed r sine theta. But what these graphs look like were, um, is, well, with this graph spacing is very small, but, um, a cosine curve, r equals cosine theta, was just uh, one unit large uh, in its diameter and um, came off of that right side of the y-axis. So we have something similar in our red graph here. Um, the only differences are it's enlarged, um, as well as having been flipped across the y-axis. So if instead of saying angle 0 gives us cosine 0 as 1, we need it to say cosine of 0 equals negative 1. So if I instead say, you know what, r equals negative cosine of theta, that gives us, that would give us a similar circle. No, uh, no, I better go a different color. So um, this one looks like this that would flip it across because all of my values as I go up and down get flipped across that y-axis. But instead, um, we also get bigger and bigger. So um, the idea there is if I just said r is negative cosine, great. We have our flip across the y-axis. Now, how do I get that thing so that it reaches clear out to um, the r6 coordinate? So instead of saying r is negative cosine, oh, got ahead of myself here. Instead, what we'll do is we'll say r is equal to negative cosine 
Ja. There we go. Um, but see, if we just leave that as a one coefficient, we're only going to ever reach out to one. If I said, say, uh, and you did this when we graphed our uh, practice problems for the first section, if we said, uh, you know, uh, r is two cosine theta, r is three cosine theta, what happens is, let's say I, I put cosine of zero in. If I put cosine of zero in, you know, I'm gonna, I'll go to black for this one, go black. Um, you know, if I did, oh boy, I better change that negative out. Um, I did say three. If R is three cosine theta, all right. So I plug in zero for theta, I get cosine of zero is one. But instead of going to one, I multiply it by three. So when I was at angle zero, one, two, three, I got to go clear out to here. And what happened was uh, my circle became larger. So we combine these two things and we say, ah, okay. So what I do know about this is that I have to flip across the y-axis. So I'm going to put a negative sign. I also know that by the time I say, you know, cosine of zero equals some value, that value is six. In order to get that, if I put a six out front, I end up with the values that I want. So r equals negative six cosine theta is exactly this red graph. So in that manner, we would just say polar r equals negative 6 cosine theta. Rectangular form, I think, is a little bit easier. Rectangular form, we have our center at negative 3, 0. And radius is 3. So if we plug that in, x minus h, so plus 3, and then y minus 0, I guess we could have just said y squared, and equals 3 squared. So we come back up here, and let me switch. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, sorry, not r, <laughs> x plus 3 squared plus y squared equals 9. So um, that's how you would do a graph. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, complicated than like question 2 where we're centered at the origin, but um, really no different uh, once we get past that. So moving on, we'll get our last one in here. And number 4, okay, number 4, what you see is you can have this straight line across here um, and in terms of rectangular um, since it is a straight line the key point I'm going to focus on is that very uh, bottom one kind of the middle one that, that 3 pi over 2 um, which is negative 90 so at negative 90 so we're down here facing straight down the r value is 1 and so what we find is rectangularly that's the horizontal line y equals some number and it's hard to find any of these points y values, but we have negative 90. So y equals negative 1 is the equation. Uh, in terms of polar, this is where we go back. Um, and when I first handed out the activity, we hadn't learned this yet. It was This is why it was an intro. It's more exploratory. But um, here's the deal. Um, if we say y equals negative 1 is our rectangular equation, um, when we go back and we look at that idea that um, any polar coordinate, okay, so we've got our our uh, let's see, we got our theta here. If we choose to make this a triangle, we have an x distance, we have a y distance, and in terms of our uh, polar coordinates, we have our angle theta and our distance r. And what we can do is we can use this information to determine, well, uh, sine of theta is just y over r. Okay, good. 
Well, that's great, but um, we need to solve for y so we can substitute it. So we say instead y is equal to whoop, r times sine theta. Okay, great. Now, if we say, well, y is equal to negative 1, but y is also equal to r sine theta, then we can just substitute r sine theta equal to negative 1. And our polar equations, a lot of times they say, you know, r equals some function, r equals cosine theta, r equals 2 sine theta. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to get r by itself. So we're going to divide by sine theta. I'm not sure if the recorder is catching this, but my screen is acting kind of strange. So if we did that, then r is equal to negative 1 over sine theta. So that's kind of what we're looking for. We have an r equals equation. So we can put that in. We say polar r negative 1 over sine theta. So again, you have to go back and make sure you understand this, this idea that really anytime you convert from polar to rectangular and back, we use this relationship that um, you know, sine of theta is y over r, and cosine theta is x over r. By doing that, you can actually find a y value or an x value and substitute it. But it all, all boils down to this idea that, you know, if we were to have uh, like a ring around here, or a ring around here, or a ring here, um, you know, we're going to go out to some angle theta, and we're going to go out some distance r, and then from there we create the triangle with a y and an x. All right, so we get there you go. Using that in Pythagorean's theorem, we can uh, pretty much get through all of that. So that's it. Um, questions one through four on this, and we should be good. We should be able to start doing um, the actual lesson 6-2 on conversions.